वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन टेस्टनेट जीके फॉर टेस्टनेट 2023 सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर टेस्टनेट 2023 सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल पाथफाइंडर फॉर मी बिकॉज़ वी विल कम आउट विद दीस जीके सेशंस एवरी 15 डेज व्हिच आर एम्ड एट योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर टेस्टनेट 2023 हेलो एंड वेलकम माय नेम इज मनीष काणे एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ पाथफाइंडर एजुकेशन सर्विसेज if you are preparing for testnet please do reach out to us batches are starting every week and you can reach out to us on 9343921347 but to join our telegram channel and our whatsapp channel you can just scan the qr codes and you will reach the right place if you are looking for strategy related inputs you can join our channel you can you can subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me if you are looking for content related to quantitative aptitude you can join mend your math and for any queries you can just send a hello message to 9343921347 and we will help you with this let us get started with testnet gk 2023 this is the first session and in this session we will be covering questions related to environment and ecology mind you testnet gk is a uh, very very vast in terms of coverage of stuff and coverage of topics and my experience with testnet gk has told me that almost everything is being covered so a detailed preparation will be required in case you are preparing for testnet gk here is the first question the sundari tree belongs to which of the following tropical evergreen forests tundras tropical rainforests and tropical mangroves the correct answer here is tropical mangroves now what are mangroves so mangroves are trees and shrubs that you will find often in coastal region and that grow in salt water salty water these are mangroves in india you will find mangroves in the sundarbans you will find them near ratnagiri near goa so every time you will find them around the coastal areas next which of the following states is the bhadra wildlife sanctuary situated associated the correct answer here is karnataka so it's situated in the chikmagalur district of karnataka near bhadravati city and this wildlife sanctuary is also covered under project tiger it is also the only elephant reserve of the state of karnataka so in the state of karnataka this is the only elephant reserve on which day is the earth day observed the correct answer is 22nd april earth day is observed on 22nd april so it is observed to initiate our efforts to save our planet it was observed for the first time in 1970 uh, gaylord nelson is considered father of the earth day and the earth day 2022 theme is invest in our planet next question which of the following is not a primary natural greenhouse gas found in our atmosphere the correct answer here is hydrofluorocarbons it is not a naturally occurring substance but it is a, a substance that is created by human activity water vapor nitrous oxide methane and ozone they are all naturally occurring greenhouse gases now what does what is the role of greenhouse gas the role of greenhouse gas is to form a blanket around the planet and not allow the heat to escape but currently the human activity has created more of greenhouse gases and which is lead to global warming as you are all aware next what does the abbreviation ipcc stand for this abbreviation stands for intergovernmental panel on climate change now what is ipcc or intergovernmental panel on climate change now we all know that global warming has been induced by we all know that global warming has been induced by human activity and ipcc is supposed to be an authority on this subject 
and how to control the levels of global warming due to human activity. The headquarter of IPCC is in Geneva and the current chair is Hosung Lee. Next question, the Earth R is organized by, the correct answer is World Wildlife Fund. So this was an initiative that was started by the World Wildlife Fund in the year 2007 and the idea is to switch off all non-essential lighting from 8.30 to 9.30. This was their way to create awareness about saving energy and therefore doing something, doing your bit for the planet. So this initiative has been started by the World Wildlife Fund. Next question, Royal Bengal Tigers are mainly found in India in which areas? And we are talking of particularly India, I think that India has been missed in this question. So you can find the Royal Bengal Tiger in mangrove forests. Uh, you will rarely find them in thorn forests or mountain forests. But you will almost always, in India at least, they are found in mangrove forests. Uh, a few minutes back I had told you that mangrove forests are forests which you can find in coastal regions and the water is slightly saline. For example, the Sundarbans in India and that is the home to Royal Bengal Tiger. Mountain forests or mountain ecosystems, you can find them on slopes of mountains and you know that affects the ecosystem because as you climb up you know as the elevation increases the temperature will fall and therefore a different kind of ecosystem will prevail in the, those areas. Thorn forests you can find in very dry areas with very little rainfall. So in both these areas you will rarely find Royal Bengal Tiger. Next, which has been ranked as the most congested city in the world as per Tom Tom's traffic index 2021? And I was surprised to not find the name of the city Pune in this list. But the most congested city is not Mumbai, it is not Bucharest, it is Istanbul in Turkey. So Istanbul has been named as the most congested city as per the Tom Tom's traffic index 2021. So do Indian cities figure in the most congested cities? Yes, they do. For example, Bangalore, it is at the 10th place, 10th place. Mumbai is at 5th place, uh, Delhi is at 11th place and Pune, sure, it's there at 21st place. You know, though, uh, you know, I have visited all the cities and I feel that Pune is slightly more congested in terms of traffic. But still, as far as the ranking is concerned, it is 21st. And this Tom Tom's index, it is been calculated among 404 cities across 58 countries in the world. Next, Bharat stage norms regulate the output of which of the following? Obviously, they will regulate the output of air pollutants. You know, if you like vehicles, if you've been reading about vehicles, you know what Bharat stage forms refer to. So they are government instituted emission standards that all the motor vehicles have to comply with. So currently, if you buy a new vehicle in India or if you sell a new vehicle in India, you have to ensure that the vehicle is compliant with the BS or Bharat stage 6 norms of emission standards. So, the standards and timelines for their implementation in, you should be aware that Bharat stage 6 earlier were going to be implemented from 2024, but we actually pre the implementation and BS6 norms have been, um, have been implemented since 2020, the year 2020. Next, which Indian state has become the first in India to or the home to India's first carbon neutral panchayat. The correct answer here is Jammu and Kashmir. So it's basically a Pali hamlet which has been declared as the first carbon neutral panchayat. It lies in the Samba district. 
and a 500 kilowatt uh, solar plant has been uh, has been installed because of which this has been possible so with this we come to an end of the first session of testnet gk stay tuned to this channel pathfinder for me if you are interested in getting more inputs on testnet gk the pdf to this particular session you can find in the in the comment box below thank you